I just am so frustrated. Like as a doctor, it's my job to take care of my community. That's my job. You, you doctors that are watching this, and I see a lot of you right here. Why are you not getting loud? I just told you the fake news about the kid in Louisiana. There was a, there was a baby that was born 22 weeks early because the mother had tested positive for COVID-19, went into distress, forced to, ba- to go into labor, and the baby died. And the, the headlines were, baby dies of coronavirus. Now, did you guys see earlier last week or late last week, there was a, a story out of Connecticut where the, where the, uh, the governor came out, tweeted, and said a, ba- a child, an infant, died in Connecticut of coronavirus. And then the parents came out and said, no, my child did not die of coronavirus. My child had an accident at home and died from that. It is just crazy. Please, you guys, go back and watch this. Share this because I promise you this video is going to get removed today. I promise you that there's no way in hell the powers that be are going to let this video get out. I promise you. And by the way, I can promise you this. Next month, I'm going to get more audits from the IRS, from the insurance companies, from Medicare and everybody else. Because when a doctor speaks up and speaks out about the truth, the powers that be come after the doctor to suppress him and shut him up. That's the world we're living in right now. How many of y'all think that's okay? It's not. Now, I'm telling you right now, we can get healthier. We can beat this stuff, but we got to wake up. We got to start seeing. It's 2020. It's time to start seeing the world of 2020 vision. And I'm telling you right now, you need to wake up and look around. Next time you see a major headline, look for the story that brought that story out. Look and see, well, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. Your spider sense started tingling. This is not real journalism, people. Right now, what should be happening is people should be going to hospitals right now. I mean, independent people should be going and ask to volunteer at hospitals and see how crazy it is. Journalists should be going inside of the emergency rooms and the ICUs to find out what the hell is really going on in there. That's what needs to be done because right now there are people all over the world going to hospitals and ERs and ICUs and they're not seeing the craziness that's being reported. And I'm not, I'm not saying that COVID-19 is not, the, not a real deal. I'm not saying it's not a virus. It sure is. We don't have a cure for it, just like we don't have a cure for the cold or the cure for the flu or anything else. And oh, by the way, don't you think it's really interesting if you look at the stats of how of how not right now all the COVID-19 coronavirus deaths are rising, guess what's dropping massively? Deaths from pneumonia, deaths from the flu, and deaths from, uh, from heart disease and heart attacks. Don't you think it's a bit ironic? What, are people not dying from heart attacks anymore? Are people not dying from, from pneumonia? Are they not dying from the flu? Nope, apparently COVID-19 and coronavirus fixed that. So now every person that dies now, for the most part, is getting labeled toe tag with COVID-19 coronavirus. Think about that, people. I don't know what to tell you other than it's crazy. And every one of you better share this information with everybody on your contact list. And when I get done, you should start a watch party about this. You can get zinc lichenate still. You can get you can get quinine still. You can get Schweppes tonic water still. You need to be rocking that stuff out. Yes, you can get vitamin C. Yes, you can get all these other products. Yes, you can get D. But I'm telling you right now, that zinc and that quinine is a game changer. That's what's being used, and you need to use this preventatively in your life as well. So again, I'm not making any claims that we're curing anything. I want to be real clear about that because I guarantee you people are going to take this message and spin it. Crazy doctor from St. Louis claims he can cure COVID-19 with zinc and supplements. No, I never said that. No, I never said you can cure anything with chiropractic. No, did I say you could cure anything with a vitamin because in our country, it is illegal to make claims about curing anything unless it's a drug. Did you know that? It's against the law. It is against the law. If you come to my office and we give you vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and uh, IV therapy, and we give you good foods, and we get your diet right, and we get you healthy neurologically, and your cancer goes away, and if we claim that we cured your cancer, Dr. E's going to jail. Dr. E's practice is shutting down. But if, if, if we do all this work and your, sickness, your symptoms and sickness goes away, guess what? That's not our problem. That's the world you're living in. But most of you don't know that because we're stuck with our heads either in the ground or up our rectum. It's time to pull your cranium out of your rectum and wake up and go, what the hell is really going on right now? Because there's a lot of crazy shit happening in the world and a lot of fake news. And oh, mark my words, this week is supposed to be the week of hell in our world. It's because of crap like this. So I'm going to encourage every one of you, wherever you're at in the world right now, see behind the curtain. It's like that movie, The Wizard of Oz, when the great and 
powerful Oz is there, and Dorothy and Toto and the Tin Man are all there, and they're all scared to death because this big fire-breathing man is telling him this is what's going on. And what really happens, Toto goes and pulls the curtain back, and we see that there's a little old senile man behind the curtain that doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. That's what's happening in our system right now, and you're being lied to, and you're being a sheep, and you're letting it happen. That's your decision if you want to do that. You, you think I'm fired up now? You think I'm fired up now? I'm here to defend you. I'm here to defend my freedoms. I'm here to defend my family's freedoms, my patients' rights to choose what to do with their life. I, I'm just blown away. And I'm blown away why there are not more doctors like me talking about this all over the place. We should be banding together right now. Doctors, and there's a lot of you watching from all over the world. I see you. I see you doctors from Europe. I see you doctors right now from the United States. I see you on this feed. I see the 1.5, uh, you know, 1,500 people that are watching this live right now. And every one of you needs to share this right now. If you're a doctor, share it with your patients. If you're a, a person that cares about others, share it with your loved ones. People need to know what's going on and what's possible. And if you missed it from the beginning, you better go back and watch this thing because you're being lied to. Little babies that claim to be dying in, in, uh, in, in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana from COVID-19. Shame on you for reporting that. Shame on that. Shame, shame, shame on that uh, governor from Connecticut that reported that a little baby was killed, uh, died from COVID-19 coronavirus. And they come to find out the parents came out and said, no, my child had an accident at home. That that guy right now needs to have a resignation. I'm calling for that guy's resignation. All of you in Connecticut, I'm sure some of you guys are there. Your governor needs to resign right now for spreading fake news. They're spreading blatant lies that are going to kill people. Blatant lies are going to kill people, not to mention kill our economy. You guys, I'm just telling you, I'm not taking it anymore. My gloves are off. I've been polite. I've been politically correct. I've been nice about it. But I'm not taking this shit anymore, and you shouldn't either. The truth is going to come out, and the truth will set you free if you'll let it. But you've got to open your eyes. You've got to start seeing with 2020 vision. And there are things that you can do right now to help yourself improve your health. And by the way, we're going to get through this. The next couple weeks, we're already starting to see some declines. Yesterday, we saw some numbers drop on infections and on deaths. That's great. Guess what? They're going to scare the hell out of you into thinking, that it's going to come back. And if you're not ready for it with your vaccine or whatever you've got, then you're going to die from this thing. You know what? Here's the truth. The truth is this. Get healthy. And now's the time to do it. Most of you guys are on lockdown for the next two weeks to four weeks. It's time instead of getting fat, let's get fit. Let's eat right. Let's exercise. Let's move. Let's take our supplements. Let's get some C, some zinc, some vitamin D. Let's get some elderberry, some astragalus. Let's get some quinine. Let's get a good probiotic and let's eat good, clean, healthy foods. Not the crap in the middle of the aisles that's processed, but go get some vegetables. Eat a little bit of fruit. Eat some clean meat, some grass-fed beef if you can. Hydrate like crazy. Get outside and get some sun and this too shall pass and your immune system and your body will be healthy and strong. You won't have to worry about this stuff. I got people coming to my offices every day that we're drawing their blood, we're testing. What's their CD8, CD4 levels? Their immune system looks good. They are not at risk. There are people that get COVID-19 and get coronavirus and they brush it off. You're hearing about the hundreds of thousands of people they're estimating in the United States alone that has been exposed to this and had had no symptoms whatsoever. Maybe a cold, a cough, or a sneeze for a day or so and they're fine. What's the difference between those people and folks that end up in the ER or ICU and on a ventilator? It's the quality of their health. That's what it is. So if you will get yourself healthy, if you will do the right things and you'll wake up and start looking at not the main headline, but the back headline, that's what you need to see. And that doctor, the, the, that coroner that put that out there, that coroner, should, their resignation should be pulled right now. So those of you that are in government levels in Louisiana, those of you that are, in, that are doctors in Louisiana, you better call and talk about these people and go, what's going on? This is not okay. Shame on you. And we're seeing false information put out all the time from newscasts all over the country about hospitals being overrun and about people dying in the streets and about, about little babies dying just to scare the hell out of you. And it's being shown to be fake news. Whew. I love and appreciate every one of you. I really do. And I need your help sharing this information. I promise you this video is going to get taken down today. There's no way that social media is going to allow this video to stay very long. So you better save it. You better share it. Save it and text it to your friends. 
Hit the share button right now. Get this information out to people. And oh, I'm going to be at it again tonight on this page. And then I'm also going to be on our Common Sense Health page on Facebook. You need to go to that page right now and ask to become a member of Common Sense Health. There's there's doctors contributing to that from all over the world. I've got another interview I'm giving tonight for doctors so that you can have some common sense. Because common sense will set you free if you'll follow it. It's time for us to step up, step out, look at what's really going on in the world today, and let's make a difference. I'm tired of it, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Are you? Are you going to take it? Are you going to continue to sit there and take it like a sheep? Or is it time for you to step up and step out, get educated, get inspired, and share this with people? I love and appreciate every one of you. I want to help you. Please go back and watch this video with a notepad and a pen. Share with your friends and family. i got to get back out there because i got people to take care of. Love and appreciate everybody. Take care.